Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 227 South 8th Street here in St. Helens. We're located inside the crawl space. We have a 3 inch ABS clean out as our point of access. And I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. And it does transition over to cast iron pipe just before it exits out of the house. It's 4 inch cast iron. Here we go. Let's take another look at this on the way back out. This is hard to tell if this is a root strand coming through here or if it's just some debris that's kind of hung up in the line. It just looks it looks almost too straight to be a, a root. It looks like a stick of some kind. And it transitions uh, back to ABS plastic pipe here at 8 feet. And it transitions here at 72 feet over to schedule 3034 PVC pipe. Looks like it's making a diameter change, so this is, uh, looks like 6 inch 3034 PVC. And unfortunately we do have a root intrusion right here at the transition. And I'll get that marked on the way out. Um, obviously those roots are not big enough at this point that they're affecting the flow, but the joints compromise and the roots can cause uh, issues as they grow. They can start catching debris. All right, right here at 87 feet, this is as far as I'm going to be able to get to. I just tried shoving through this. There are two, one or two very large root intrusions here that are blocking up most of the line. And as my camera goes through there, it's just it's snagging the camera head as it comes through. I'm going to attempt to locate this spot. I'll get it marked with a white X. And as I reel back, I'll mark any other uh, spots that have roots coming through. I attempted to locate here. Uh, it was kind of a long shot. Uh, this is this is beyond the property line at this point where I can't get to. There is a fence in the way. Uh, so I, you 
gonna have to get a repair contractor on it and possibly pull records in order to locate this spot. It goes it goes into the woods too, which makes it even trickier. And unfortunately, I don't know if we've made it to the end of the line here. I mean, it could just be just ahead where the line terminates. Um, my camera just won't get through that root mass there. It's starting to hang up in it. And if I shove it too hard, it could get stuck. So. That's definitely a root intrusion to take care of. I mean, I recommend repairing all root intrusions, but that one's blocking pretty much 100% of the line there. And it's also worth checking into to see where responsibility starts and stops. It's possible that um, they only updated to this point here with new pipe because it transitions over to maybe the city responsibility or, or something of that nature. So it's worth looking into that. And obviously, if you if you do a spot repair, you can correct that root intrusion there uh, by just replacing a piece of pipe. But from this transition, 82 feet, it's only about 5 feet or so of the root intrusion. Um, if there's not a whole lot of concrete pipe left, I would recommend just updating the entire concrete section. Because if it is in the woods, surrounded by trees, it's likely that roots are probably going to get in to other joints in the future. The common thing with concrete pipe and when you've got trees around them. I'm going to try and locate here at the transition from ABS to PVC to see if I can get this marked. This may also be beyond the property line, or at least the fence line. All right, this also is beyond the fence line. Uh, I'm starting to pick a signal up here here uh, when I get right to the rear left corner of the property. So it does appear to be heading that direction. I would guess that this is probably be about 10 feet beyond the fence line roughly. Uh, this is another one I'm not going to be able to get to and, lo and locate and mark. But those, so far I recommend uh, repairing those root intrusions. All right, we're getting close to ruling the camera back in through the crawl space. Again, we're here at this spot. I, it's, it's really tough to tell if this is some kind of stick. I mean, it almost looks like 
it's straight and circular enough that it could almost be something like a fiberglass rod. I just don't know why it would be in there, or a stick or something of that nature. It could also be that a root has popped through the the pipe there. That one's really difficult to determine. It's obviously causing debris to hang up on it. I would definitely recommend getting that cleared out of there if nothing else. Uh, I can try and locate this spot. I believe it's going to be just outside the foundation of the house. I also wanted to point out one more thing here. There is some grease uh, build up right here. This is where the... Uh, so my camera is only about three, four feet into the line, um, and I can see where a drain's tying into the top of the pipe. And I believe that would be the uh, likely the kitchen sink tie-in right here. And uh, that you've got there's just a, a bit of grease buildup and debris buildup. So uh, if you are to drain clean the line, it would be a good idea. It would clear all this junk out of the pipe here that's built up. Lots and lots of years of grease. Uh, there's something sitting in the line here. I don't know if it's paper towels or something like that. There's a big ridge of it on the side of the pipe. So I would recommend drain cleaning this. Um, and this one here is, this is a hard one to determine whether that's a root or not coming through. I'll locate it on the outside of the house, uh, but I'm thinking most likely that that is debris that's hung up in the pipe. So we've got the, uh, the two root intrusions to take care of, both of which are beyond the fence line where I'm not able to get to. Uh, so you'll have to contact the city, find out where responsibility starts and stops at with this line uh, as well, but uh, they, they're going to have to do locates uh, based on records or something of that nature in order to locate those root intrusions. I'm going to try and locate this and just mark it. Now this part right here is basically situated underneath the foundation wall. Uh, it's not really easy for me to locate it or not, but it, it, it's going right underneath the foundation wall here at this spot. Um, I would recommend drain cleaning that and then also doing a rescope after any repair work. Uh, you could have the drain cleaner do a rescope to make sure all this stuff is removed and to make sure there's not any underlying issues underneath that because there's a bunch of debris built up here. It's possible you could have a hole with a root coming through it. We can't see it because it's built up over the top. Um, most likely that's not the case because most of this pipe here is within the, the footprint of the home uh, where roots are pretty difficult to get to. Most of this pipe is exposed out of the ground anyway. So I highly doubt we've got roots here, but it needs to get cleaned out and rescoped just to ensure that it was cleaned properly. And then rescope after the uh, root intrusions are removed and repaired to ensure that those repairs were done properly as well. Uh, but apart from the uh, those two root intrusions, the rest of the line is in, is looking in good shape, and it, it flow as well. Obviously, the roots are hindering the flow, but um, the line has good slope and grade throughout, as far as I can tell. I can't get beyond 87 feet to check the rest of it, but what we saw here has has proper slope and grade through.